My guest this afternoon is a Kathak exponent. She says Indian classical dance and music has the power to heal. Her claim to fame is that she combines two arts together, that of the Indian classical and the Kundalini yoga and has come up with her own modalities. She owns the holistic healing company called the Kundalini Dance Temple as she calls it. Please welcome Komal Shah. Hi Komal, Hi. how are you? I'm good. Welcome on my show. Thank you so much. So your claim to fame is that you heal through dance and music. Please throw some light on it. I feel uh, dance is a beautiful medium to understand a body, a body language. And I feel body never lies. So Nice work. Yeah, so uh -huh. whenever we have any kind of a problem mentally, a body will show up. Yes. When body whispers. Yeah. So when mind doesn't talk, when mind doesn't speak, the body talks. Right. So my methods are through dance where yeah. I realize that when a person is not being able to move, he is blocking or stopping some kind of his, a particular flow from his own body. Right. And that flow is the most important uh, spiritual energy we can say, the unlimited life force what we have. Yes. So when the prana or the kundalini or the unlimited life force, whatever you would say, is getting blocked somewhere, we somewhere realize that uh, we are holding on to a lot of things in life. Right. We just don't know how to flow with the universe. Yeah. We don't know how to flow with our body. Right. So the mind and body synergy is very important. True. Like we have heard body, mind and soul. Yeah. But are we really actually in sync with the body and right. the mind? Right. So we are kind of very clear with our mind. We somewhere do a lot of healing sessions, go through a lot of uh, spiritual work on ourselves. We are we are well read. Yeah. But is our body in in complete alignment? Yeah. So through dance, I have realized that dance is basically I can say we never dance one side. Mm -hmm. We always have the left and the right. Right. Whenever you do any form of dance, right. it's always left and right. Mm -hmm. Similarly, whenever you are breathing, mm -hmm. it's the nadi. Nadi. Yeah. So the inhale and the exhale. Right. It's never only inhale. Right. We have the God has designed this beautiful instrument in such a way that we have two eyes, we have two ears, we have two nostrils, we have two hands, right. two feet. Yeah. So it's all about balance. Total harmony, total complete sync. balance. Right. So similarly. Dance is a movement where we always work with the body on the right and the left. It's mm -hmm. always right and the left. Mm -hmm. That's how it's bringing the complete balance in our body of our right side, that is the right brain mm -hmm. and the left brain. Okay. How we are logically, which is always the left brain. We are left brain is very logical and act. Right. And the right one is very spiritual, creative and all. So, is it? Yeah. So, okay. To have the complete balance of the logical side and the creative side, we need to have the complete alignment of our movements. Mm -hmm. By doing those movements and doing tap work, doing footwork, doing vajras, it's teaching our body how to have a complete balance of right and the left. Okay. That is the yin and the yang, the shiva, the shakti. Yeah. So it's bringing a complete synergy of your mind and your body. Perfect. And I feel uh, nature has gifted this beautiful art 
and there is so much of science in um, graphical form mm. uh, where we have we maybe people have not yet discovered it mm. but you know there is a huge science behind every mudra every expression True. every every action every movement we do on the stage or we perform or we learn mm. there is a science there is a science behind Okay, so basically, uh, way back when you started learning, uh, was it uh, Kathak and, or was it Bharatanatyam? Mm-hmm. You are known as a Kathak exponent, yeah. but then Indian classical dance as a yeah. whole is part of your program. Right. So, what did you learn first? Uh, so, first I learned Bharatanatyam. Okay. Who has? Uh, I mean, I did my Arigatra. I was just four years, and when I first died, my gurus and I learned the discipline of understanding. Who was your guru? Uh, she was uh, um, Miss Dinar Sakim, and she's no more. Mm-hmm. But I was very fond of her beauty. A party her, lady, yes. is it? Wow, and that's unheard of. Yes, yeah. and the passion and the art for this uh, passion of this be- uh, for this beautiful art, what she had in her was she was I was in awe with her for okay. that time. And uh, learning Bharatanatyam with her, doing so many shows with her, I got a lot of uh, kind of confidence, confidence that, and experience. Uh, how you can actually flow yourself on the stage. So you started performing early on in life. Yes. So yes. there were no stage fears then. Never. Obviously there aren't any. Never. Never. Okay. Never. Born for the stage. Yes. Huh? I think I was meant to be on the stage. Yeah. That's what I I felt because I was never I never liked anything which was technical. Okay. But when you leave me alone and let me flow on the stage, I was a different person. Yeah. I've seen you perform yes. twelve long minutes at the Sri yeah. Sit for show. Yeah. And it was beautiful. Yeah. I was fluted. I'm a dancer myself, but they're not as active as you are. But it was beautiful. Really yes. lovely. So very obviously you have a higher calling. when did you realize it? So I as early as age four? No. I I used to always get compliments that uh, Komal doesn't need rehearsals. Mm. She's something else on the stage. Mm. Or I was being uh, known for something. You give me a music or an instrumental piece and just tell me go on the stage and start performing. There is no. Uh, so you do an impromptu yes, choreography. That is what. That's uh, your USP. So that also. is what was my calling, which I never realized. Okay. I never realized I was made for this. Yeah. That but I, you knew that you were made for dancing. Yes, I knew I was made for dancing because I eventually when I started to um, I got my maturity, I connected with the divine. Hmm. I used to really feel when I dance and hear sound, it takes me to the place where I belong hmm. and I connect with the source. So I forget everything hmm. around. Hmm. And for dance me, like no one is watching. Exactly. That's what I do. <laughs> you are the true, true recipient of that. That's uh, true. Good. And um, yeah, so when I used to be on the stage uh, and I was being given some impromptu uh, music, music, I used to just flow. And okay. that's the time I realized I just understand intuitively what's coming next. next. And I knew where is the sum, where is the dha. There is the stop which is going to come, and I realized that how is it with me? How how I don't need rehearsals or how I know that the next tabla wala is going to play this ta. this tal, <laughs> and I used to just end it with that. So who knows? Your journey may have continued from another birth. Yes. All your all yes. your teachings. That's what I've been told. Yes, because the time when I realized that um, dance has a uh, science behind it, hmm. and it has. Which I started, which has given this identity to me because I had always been a dancer, but it was just for fun. Yeah. But when I realized that there is something beyond dancing, dancing is just not for entertainment. Right. There is so much in it. Yeah. Where our mudras are concerned, where our navras, our expressions are concerned, mm. we are releasing so much. Yeah. When we are releasing, we we enact like. A lot of people who, I mean, if I give you an example, I had a client who never experienced what is a motherhood, what it is to feel like a mother. Mm-hmm. She never had a baby, but when she saw and when I taught her what is the, in our tradition we call it vatsalya, so that is, uh, what is the feeling of a motherhood? When I made her act 
as it that mm-hmm. you have a child and it is if it is a Krishna. Yeah. It's a wow. We yeah. are doing this whole time. You give her the Yashoda they will keep feeling. feeling. Lovely. And when she realized what is that feeling, she re- the the rust, the emotion, the feeling which is so layered below your so many layers down. Right. It started surfing. Oh my God. And that's how she went it out and she now realized what it's to feel, feel like, like a mother. mother. So maybe not in this life, but she, maybe ever, yeah. whenever she wants yeah. or you never know. She at least knows what it feels like to be a mother. How sweet. How touching yeah. is this anecdote. Yeah. So tell me, how did Kathak come en route? So I had always been, I would not love to just stick to one form. Right. I had a urge to learn everything. Right. My next would be Odyssey. Right. I would never be wanting to be connected to one form, form. Because I know everything has its own power. Right. So when I got into Kathak, I realized that everything is, it's all about footwork. Yeah. And when it comes to footwork, Kathak is more about footwork than and tapping. Bhav. And bhav and Radha Krishna and Tumris and Spin. So I realized there has to be something behind this. Right. So when eventually in the past seven years when I was doing my training and with uh, in Kalka, I realized every time I when I'm tapping my left and my right, why is that my left is weak and my right is so strong? Yeah. My sound from my right is coming very very loud and my left is very weak. Hmm. So that's how I realized, yes, I am, I don't know how to be logic. I, I lack ah, something yes. in my life where yes. I need to understand what is logic yes. in life. So your creative side is stronger. My creative is stronger. Right. My right uh, brain functions much yes. better than my left. Yeah. I'm weak in math. Mm-hmm. I'm not good. That makes it work. <laughs> yeah. I'm not so great with my grammar. Yeah. I'm good with my grammar. Yeah. But it's all this it comes when a, a person is a right brain yeah. and somewhere your left brain is an actor. Yeah. And that's how my body spoke to me. Mm-hmm. That Komal, if you want to learn to be, uh, you want to understand the daily, uh, how to deal with life. Mm-hmm how to understand the give and takes of life. Hmm. Left hand left side is always receiving. Achha. You know you want to know what it feels like to receive. Hmm. Start working on your left side. Okay. So, so then you started doing the my form I started training with my left feet. And now you Yes. And the day when I started learning and understanding that my left feet has become stronger things should change. Wow. So, so sometimes I really feel everything is so mystic. It is there so is a science into everything. everything. It, you don't need an external source to yeah. find out. It all is within. Okay. So, uh, are you trained in yoga? How did the Kundalini angle happen? So, yoga is basically, of course, I was being introduced to a lot of asana. Yeah. But I love. But this it. is an internal yoga. Yeah. yeah. So, this is something where I believe yoga has come from down. Yeah. Everybody, when Shiva did Tanda, hmm. he gave a lot of asanas to us, right. a lot of postures to us. Right. But everybody couldn't move. Hmm. That's the art. That's yeah. the whole uh, way where we I teach people how to move your body, right. how to be in the flow with your internal divine energies of yin and yang which we have. Yeah. How to move your left and right. Yeah. So when movement happens. That is the actual yoga which I know I understood as. Right. People who don't understand uh, dance, yoga is for them. Right. That's what I believe. Right. So I had never gone through any kind of uh, course or course yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. I used to do my basic yoga. Yeah. But yes, my dance was my yoga. Yeah. So is your kundalini activated according to yourself? I am, is that I a difficult question? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But I just believe yeah. uh, that uh, when you're happy, when you're satisfied, you're contented. And when you train your mind to live in present, live in now, and forget about the past, or go about it, and not to create, not to worry for your future, yeah. just live in that now. Your Kundalini is Jagrut. That's what I So believe. there, I'm somewhere there now. <laughs> 
I hope so. <laughs> I I think so. I think so. We don't know. Okay, so so okay. I just feel each and every body has its own power. Yes. And they are all are unique. And there is nothing so specifically to know that oh this one is going to be really jagrat ho gaya ye baba ji ke paas jao ja, ja, maata ja, ja, ji ke paas jao us ja, sabke ja, jagrat nahi hai it's you to realize that are you happy yeah are you yeah is your soul I'm happy in harmony with yours yeah, yeah. I mean, your soul is happy yeah do you know your soul purpose yeah yeah i think i don't know what is kundalini jagruti and all yeah. that Great. yes but i am awake so absolutely Enlightened as well. So there's a Buddha here. There's a Buddha here. Yeah, all of <laughs> Buddha. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me about the influencers on the way. Who were your inspirations? Uh, Who I, do you look up to? Birju Maharaj, Sitara Devi, or such lovely I names. I have never been able to reach out to them. I yeah, naturally. Been, yeah. So I have always been. I never had mentors or gurus who had given me that inspiration. I had my mother was the biggest inspiration in the role model. For me, not as a dancer or a, uh, she used to love playing music and she used to play harmonium and she wow. used to sing wow. and she was a very spiritual person as well. I think she was my role model. She was my guide. She was my mentor because every on a, every journey, every path of my journey, she taught me how to give. Maybe it is through your art, yeah. through your deeds. through your singing yeah. through your dancing yeah. she told me whatever you have been given to mm. whatever you have or whatever you have as a money your art your voice your uh, whatever you, you name get, it yeah first learn to give first learn to give the you will you automatically give. receive and you don't know which form or which channel or which uh, medium you need to give it it is already with you right So I never really had any kind of a major uh, role model as a guru. Your mom was your guru. Yeah, yeah. Because I somewhere believed I was always a dancer. Yeah. But I got a title of a healing artist or a dance therapist or whatever was when I came on the stage uh, for the first time on the stage with the concept that dance is a medium to heal. To heal. And. we have all internally we have seven cells in our body which are the seven emotional centers we yeah. call chakras. chakras yeah and if we know how to balance and align them to whatever form but if we are aware about it and we know what are the power and what is the power of it and what is the disadvantage of it whatever if we are at least aware about it we don't need any kind of external source to right. uh, help us help us it's just within us yeah yeah so when i came up with that concept i realized i got everything i didn't have to actually struggle to get anything right right so i da- i came on the stage with this concept uh, when was this how long back your first performance that was 3 years back okay when in, in 2015 okay and i first time Dance for two hours non-stop, non-stop on the stage. Wow! And I had to narrate. The, I was the goddess Kundalini coming from the other planet to Earth <laughs> to enlighten people and give this knowledge. That let me go today on the Earth and give you a small story about uh, what are seven jewels and what is this human body and what is the power of it and how we can make wonders with it. Yeah, magic. So when I did the entire ballet with my light therapy sound therapy affirmations my classical side of it with my lyrics i think i got a standing ovation wow. from a thousand people and i i was there i didn't really need to have to struggle things just came to me. fall into place so i just felt that i was meant for this yeah so when i learned to give and i came with the purpose that i'm not coming here to show that how good i am as a dancer which i was always living with it right but i'm coming to uh, give and share and impart something yeah which could be beneficial to the to other create people. value to the society absolutely that how i got my whatever where i were i am so this is something where i wanted to share yeah that i learned from my mother how to give absolutely beautiful so this is a lovely Uh, give back yeah so uh, let's talk a little about your international performances 
So my international year, uh, uh, it also happened very hectically. I never want, I had never planned anything, but there was one of her a person uh, who was very keen on my work, and she's been following me on social media and all. So she kind of told me that why don't you come here? I'll arrange something for you. So but I planned to go in this January. Mm. And yeah, that's when we spoke. Yes, yeah. and I was there. And I conducted a couple of workshops. I did a lot of healing sessions. Yeah. I did dance therapy sessions. A lot of conversations, counseling. I don't know how everything was just happening. In, I just had five days over there. Okay. And I think I worked like day and night just doing this. I didn't have time for my own entertainment, my shopping. But nothing. it must have been such a high, no? I saw the pictures when yeah. I was doing my research yeah. about so that him. was something which I had never planned. Hmm. And I believed I just flew. I just went with nothing. But I got so much of name, recognition, appreciation, applause. I I had never no got <laughs> I had never got it in India. But yes, I felt every person over there was so touched. I could feel that unconditional love showering from there. Oh, lovely. So what's the difference between the international experience to the Indian experience? I think yeah. <laughs> we all are one. Yeah. We all are same, yeah. I believe. But there I feel the thirst of Indian classical, they maybe they are they are so thirsty. They're eager, eager to absorb. Um, yes, yeah. and they really want they were writing all the ragas, all the uh, sounds, all the suras, all the tals, they were making every note of what I Very delicate. Talking. Yes. And end of my sessions and workshops, they knew exactly that yes, this chakra can get activated with this raga. And Shyam Kalyan rag has the power to heal this chakra wow. by releasing these emotions. Wow. So they were so deep. And they had so much of. Uh, I was. I felt what I gave. They was just receiving it. Right. So, any plans to start an institute or a school? I believe yes. I'm very. Uh, my whole purpose and my mission is to bring this modality out all across the world, where I want to open up my own institute and create this modality uh, and give it a very strong recognition, because I'm just a museum. It's just flowing through the creator. It has to go in the right way. And I have written 10 books on this, where I'm going to uh, start uh, making a proper uh, levels, level one, level two, and start uh, when, I, uh, when I'm ready to form my institute, I'll definitely start teaching people with proper structured courses, so that they learn, they can teach another five and that's how and then it will spread tree. like the tree yeah. Yeah. the Dalani tree so since we spoke so much about the science do you plan to pursue a PhD and a doctorate yes. if you have not already yes I, I have been told by a lot of people mm. in fact uh, I have a lot of uh, uh, political help I have a lot of people who like from Phyllis ACP uh, he's also inspired me and he's told me that you need to bring this out and you have to study and you need to yeah. make it that yeah. whole, whatever you need to make it. Yeah. 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 Super. So yes, so it, I, I realized that I, it, I had started late. <laughs> no, no, there's never late. There's always the right time. Yes, the divine it's time. Never late. It's never When it has to happen, yes. the divinity will it's just, just make it happen. happen to me. Yeah, I always believe yeah. that if you I mean, you have to experience to believe it. Absolutely. And I really felt every experience of my performance on the stage was healing me and taking me more and evolving me so much that I just felt everything is coming to me. How beautiful. And I feel I'm so grateful to God to give me this beautiful art, teach me, make me, uh, make me a medium to bring this out to the world. How lovely. And before I let you go, I'd like to show you this. Here you are. Oh, that's lovely. None of them is here. And here. Oh, wow. 
This is for you from the previous okay. years. It was looking forward to the next one. Sure, sure. All the very best. God bless you. Thank, Thank you. you.